What's up YouTube? How's it going? Back again for another random video. Now this video is truly random. So I just moved to this new town and I did not realize that it's got a very, very uh, monumental statue right in front of me. And I did some research yesterday and I'm going to whip out my phone because a lot of the stuff I don't remember. So uh, hopefully I can recall some of the stuff here because um, what I'm about to show you is kind of cool. So let's get out of my truck here and have a look. A lot of people right off the bat might know what I'm talking about. It's a nice Sunday, nice and dead today, nice and bright. Maybe it'll be open. Let me just flip this around. You know what? I'm not going to use my phone. I'm going to go off my brain on this one. So, overlooking where we are. Now there's a museum in here, like is this closed? So I got like a little little caboose train here. Looks pretty empty, you can buy t-shirts and stuff. But the main attraction right here is this guy. Boom. Jumbo the elephant. That's right guys. Jumbo the elephant died in 1855 in St. Thomas, Ontario, Canada. There's a very famous circus elephant that was just passing through. I think they were doing a show here. Now the owner said that a baby elephant was on the train tracks and uh, he pushed off the baby elephant and saved the baby elephant and the train, hit him from behind and killed him later on. Now, what ended up happening was because he was such a large elephant that uh, they did a taxidermy on him. I think they had to do it right then and there because he was so massive. And uh, they saved his bones and then they saved his body as well. And uh, they kept it in museums and stuff for kids. Wow, his tail is massive. Sorry, I just can't get over this. I've been here a few times before, but... Look at the balls in that car. I'm <laughs> sorry, I had to say that. <laughs> Whew, it's a little chilly. So they put him in... Uh, they didn't want to get rid of him right away. So they ended up, about four or five years later, the owner, can't remember his name, sorry, ended up giving him to the museum. Natural history, I think it was. And they put him on display, and then they put him in with schools and stuff, and kids were sitting behind him, and like, it was, nothing happened, you know? And uh, unfortunately, in uh, 1975, there was a fire that destroyed him. Um, and all that remained... Wow. Wow. All that remain of Jumbo in 1975 after the fire was his tail because someone took it and a, and a little peanut butter jar of his ashes. So unfortunately there's nothing left of Jumbo. But probably just the statue. And I mean, it's crazy that no one ever attempts to mess with this stuff because people that live here know the history of this. And St. Thomas, Ontario is like one of the, one of the oldest towns in Canada. And it's got uh, a history. You know, it's a railroad town, right? So kind of cool rest in peace jumbo like there's houses like right across the street from here so if anyone fucks with this thing you know they'll call the cops on September 15th 1985 jumbo the giant African elephant star of the Barnum and Bailey circus that's who it was met an untimely death when struck in st. Thomas by a grand truck locomotive trunk locomotive to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the tragic event, the citizens of St. Thomas and Elgin County erected this monument, which was designed and constructed in Sussex, New Brunswick, by Winston Branham. God, I can't read. <laughs> the city of St. Thomas provided the site. Listed of these plaques are the names of the Jumbo clientele committee members and the donors who made this tribute to Jumbo possible. That's cool. It lists all the people that helped. The Kiwanis Club of St. Thomas. 
Lions Club St. Thomas. Oh, there's all the names right there. Very cool. Patreons and donors. People that donated money, I'm guessing, and their time to build this thing. And then we got over here the same thing. Very cool. So like I was saying, you know, 1975, uh, the building burnt down and only its tail was saved and a peanut butter jar of his ashes. So unfortunately, there's nothing left to Jumbo. And it's just sad. So apparently a lot of people are saying that that's just a made-up story. That's not exactly what happened. You know, maybe it could have just been an untimely accident and, you know. But it's sad to know that he was an African elephant and all he did his whole life was, you know, show off how big he was. And he was like one of the very first elephants that people ever rode on. It was kind of cool, right? Look how big he is. If this is scaled to size, like this elephant is massive. Now, after he was dead and the taxidermy, they wanted to bring him to the museum, like I was saying. And they had to to take off the top pillars like how the stone comes around like this they had to take off pieces to fit him through because he was so massive after he was even stuffed and rolled out on a trolley he couldn't even fit in the door he took up lots of space you know and even in death the terms jumbo now reform are reminded of big items jumbotron jumbo hot dog everything relates to this elephant so even in death, he will never be gone because his legacy lives on and so does his name. So that's a cool little history right there for you guys. Just, you know, a five minute drive from my house. It's kind of neat. Celebrating the, this giant ass elephant here. Wow, crazy. And they got a little trolley car there. Something like that probably wiped him out. I'm guessing it'd be the front of the, the trolley with the heaviest part being the engine and all that stuff so pretty neat he sits up here on Talbot Street overlooking St. Thomas crazy there you have it guys thanks so much for watching please like and subscribe for more random videos as I do upload often and I'll talk to you real soon bye for now